Hello everyone and welcome to an unboxing and first look at this Bissell Big Green Carpet and Upholstery Washer. Now if you check back on my channel I've got a playlist of all the carpet washers I've tested and this Bissell will be the latest in a long line. Currently, before opening and using this Bissell, my recommendation for a carpet cleaner is this Bissell, which I've recently reviewed and demonstrated. This is the Bissell Pro Heat 2 times Revolution Pet Pro. Well, this, according to Bissell, is their best performing carpet washer. It's also their most expensive carpet washer, costing about double the price of this one. So we'll put that one to one side and we'll take a closer look at this big machine. Unlike most of the carpet washers I've unboxed on my channel, the Bissell Big Green requires no assembly. It's fully assembled out of the box. And I have to warn you, the box is very heavy. Probably one of the heaviest carpet washers, apart from possibly the Rug Doctor Mighty Pro, which I've also demonstrated. So let's have a look at this one. One thing I like about this one, which is different to the Rug Doctor, this cleans in a forward and reverse motion. The Rug Doctor only cleans on the backward pass. So this should clean as you're pushing the machine forward and as you're pulling it back. So let's have a look at what we get. So of course we have the instruction book and uh, there's another safety instruction leaflet. And here we have the machine, so it's just a case of lifting it out of the box. Okay, so here is the cleaner out of the box and here's the supplied accessory hose that enables you to clean upholstery, stair carpets and even the interior of your car. I'll be showing this in use in a later video. Okay, so here it is, fully assembled. All we have to do is raise the handle and it should click into position. Now my version differs from some of the images I've seen online because the top of the dirty water tank is clear. On other versions I've seen, just the middle part has a clear portion and the rest is opaque. Now it's clear because it enables you to see all the dirty water being sucked up into the dirty water tank. So before we can use this machine, I notice that there's some packaging inside the dirty water tank which I assume will contain the solution. So we just need to unlock the tank lid and lift it away. And yes, ah, I think we have a storage bag for the hose. So with this machine, you get a full-sized bottle of Wash and Protect Pro Stain and Odor. Most of the Bissells I've shown you only come with a sample size. If you intend to do a lot of cleaning, I would suggest buying another bottle as well, but that's good to get you started. And here is the bag. That I'm assuming, yes, it should be big enough. This is the bag that I can store the uh, hose and the stain tool, the stair or tough stain tool that comes supplied. And that's it, just got to remove this packaging. Okay, while I've got the dirty water tank lid off, we can have a look at the dirty and clean water tanks. So, top tank is for the dirty extracted water, and it's a 7.7 .7 litre capacity, which is quite a considerably bit larger than most domestic style carpet cleaners. I can also see on the side and also on the handle of the machine, we do have instructions. So if you lose your instruction book or you're lending the machine out, whoever you've lent it to will know how to use the cleaner. So a nice tough top tank and because it's so open, it's easy to clean, especially if you've been picking up after some rather nasty accidents, pet accidents, etc. The lid of the tank as you can see, it's a completely clear central part and translucent, the rest of it. The top here is the port, 
when you're using the hose, you have to make sure that that is securely closed when you're using the machine in upright mode. If that's open, you'll get reduced suction at the cleaner head. Underneath, you'll see there is a float valve. Every time you fill the machine with clean water, always empty it. But if you forget or you're picking up a spillage that's more than the container's capacity, this float valve activates and cuts off the suction. So then you need to turn the machine off and of course empty out the dirty water. Underneath here, we've got the clean water. Built-in handle, lift it out, carry it to the sink. This is your measuring cap. And you'll see it's actually attached via this little piece of tubing so you won't lose it. Now, according to the instructions, you fill this up to the line here, up to the water level line with hot water, up to 60 degrees, nothing hotter than that. And then you add two capfuls of Bissell cleaning solution to the tank via this measure here. If you're using another solution, you'll obviously have to follow the instructions of dilution on the other solution you're using. Personally, I always prefer to use Bissell solutions in Bissell machines, Vax solutions in Vax machines, and so on. I always like to use the proper stuff, especially Bissell stuff. It's a bit more expensive, but I find it does the job. So, fill that 60 degrees with water, two capfuls of solution. Make sure that the measuring cap is on securely and then I always like to just give it a bit of a mix up before placing it back on the machine. Goes in like that and then obviously we need to put the dirty water tank back. Make sure when you're using the machine that the dirty water tank is seated flush here. If you haven't got it on correctly obviously you're going to lose suction because the dirty water comes up the front here up this green part and into the dirty water tank and also you have to make sure of course that the lid is on correctly too which it might be better if I do it oh there we go once the lids on you need to move the handle back it's locked into position one other quick thing to show you I'll just remove the lid again You'll find a little red lint filter here, just at the top there. Just give that a wipe over every time you empty the dirty water tank if it's got any pet hair or lint or fluff on it. You can avoid a lot of that by thoroughly vacuuming your carpet before you use a carpet washer. You always must do a thorough vacuum clean, preferably with a decent mains powered cleaner. A, a little cordless cleaner won't cut the mustard if you want to get your carpets as clean as they can be before you start using the deep cleaner. Two further things to look at on the top of the cleaner are this small solution hose connector. You connect the solution hose to this when you're using the suction hose for your above floor cleaning. And this is the flow indicator and that spins when there's shampoo solution being distributed onto the carpet. When that stops spinning, it means you've run out of solution and you have to refill the solution tank and of course at the same time empty the dirty water tank. When you want to fold the handle for storage you simply lift up the green lever at the back and let the handle drop down. The lever at the back here enables you to lower the handle to the operating position. At the back of the handle there's the on off switch and a digital indicator to show you how many times the machine has been used. Also here at the top is the trigger that releases the cleaning solution. According to the specifications this cleaner weighs a hefty 19 kilograms and that's with the water containers empty so it's going to be hard for some people to manage especially if you're carrying it upstairs. The best way to carry it is with the handle folded you can put your hand under here at the back of the machine and at the front there is a little carry handle here and you can lift it up. Now obviously I wouldn't carry it when it's full of water. If you want to make it lighter to carry up the stairs you can of course remove both of the tanks and it'll take a little bit of weight off. 
When you're using this on a level surface, you don't obviously have to carry it anywhere. You can just wheel it to the room you want to clean. And again, I would suggest getting it in the room you want to clean before fitting the solution tanks. Here's the underside of the Bissell big green deep cleaning machine and you can see it's got a very large multiple bristle roller so that does a lot of the work by agitating the solution into your carpet. Obviously the solution comes out through jets on the underside of the head and here at the top is this flexible suction inlet so the dirty water is sucked up through this narrow path here. And because it's sprung loaded, it means it can clean different types of carpet from short pile up to a much longer or plush pile. Just below the brush, we've got two sturdy roller wheels. And at the back of the cleaner, two large rubber coated wheels to aid maneuverability. The hose supplied with the Bissell Big Green is nine feet long and it's designed to clean upholstery, car interiors, and stair carpeting etc. In a future video I'll show you this machine cleaning stairs and we'll see how far it can actually reach up a standard flight of 13 steps. I think it'll get most of the way with a nine foot hose but it probably won't reach right to the top. So to attach the hose we need to take this part and fit it into the hose inlet on top of the dirty water tank. To attach the hose, you lift the green flap and insert it in this position. You see, this is the solution hose. It's a bit tricky to find the correct position for it. You'll find the machine will allow you to push the hose in. There we go, it's in, but then you need to lock it until it clicks into the locked position as indicated by the locked padlock symbol. And the solution hose fits here. Just locate it until it pushes down and then twist to lock it into place. With the hose attached, I can now use the six inch cleaning tool for my stairs and upholstery. It's got three rows of brushes to provide some agitation and a suction inlet here that concentrates the suction to remove the soiled solution. I notice on my model that this doesn't have a clear window. Some versions of this machine have a clear window so you can see the solution being sucked up. You can remove the nozzle by pressing the button here. And I've discovered that you can fit other Bissell cleaning tools. This is a spraying crevice tool from another Bissell upright carpet washer. And you'll see that it is compatible with the big green clean machine. To use the tool, you squeeze this red trigger here to release the cleaning solution from this nozzle located behind the brushes. Well, that's about the end of my unboxing and first look at the Bissell Big Green Carpet and Upholstery Washer. If you want to see this cleaner in action, please don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon, and you'll be notified when I upload the demonstration videos. In the meantime, you can check out my carpet washer playlist where you'll see all the other carpet washers I've unboxed and demonstrated. If you have any comments or questions about this cleaner, please comment below and I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Bye for now.